I just got a phone call from Isha saying I've just logged on the internet on the radio to uh, Folk Award final deadline is today. My father put me in without me knowing when I got into the final ten and he just said, Darren, you're going up to Kendall for two days. And I was like, all right, thank you very much. My dad was horrified when he found out <laughs> I was into folk music. <laughs> he was into the clash and the sex pistols and, and uh, the buzzcocks and people like that. Yeah, you've got him into it now. Yeah, he, um, yeah. For, he plays a bit of folk on his old guitar from time to time, so yeah. I, I started playing the violin when I was four, so it's taken us a while to, to get here. <laughs> This is the 16th Radio 2 Young Folk Award and we've been here at the brewery in Kendall for a number of years on and off and we're building up towards the concert which happens on a Saturday night. But more than that, it's a, a wider weekend of workshops, of opportunities for the young people who take part to meet new friends, to play music, to learn things about the music industry. It really is about the whole weekend, not just the concert in which they perform and ultimately in which they are judged. Well, just so that everyone knows what's happening, uh, there's going to be a session here, apparently. All I must say goodbye. All I must say goodbye. It's going to give them all the kisses and they'll be near. All I must say goodbye. There's a massive range of styles here. There's a group of four bluegrass players, and then you've got another Irish box player, yeah, and there are solo singer-songwriters, and it's just wonderful. But it, there's always that little in the back of your head saying, are you really folk? Are you really folk? I play um, more country music and, and that sort of stuff, so I felt a little bit out of place, but I sort of, I got there in the end. I was quite intimidated when I first arrived when we were all just sitting around and having a sort of music session. It's scary because they're all incredible, unbelievably incredible. And then we're just different, not, you know, <laughs> with the kids at the side going, what's going on? <laughs> they yeah. all know the same song. I, I don't think it's the same for everyone because not everybody will um, have had the same experience. Because I've been playing in pub sessions once a week since I was like eight. So I'm quite used to just meeting a load of strangers and playing tunes. Yeah. It's very much a family tradition and also an island tradition. In the house we'd have a jam here and there in the evening. Yeah, there are always instruments around. The acoustic umbrella is, is really nice. But I like the fact that folk is just such a welcoming sort of genre. So the first egg is on its way. How much sleep do you get, enough? Yeah. Tea, coffee? Uh, you'll have tea. On the Young Folk Awards, we're employed to be in charge of keeping them safe, making sure they're in the right place at the right time, they're not poorly, they're not unwell, that they've eaten and they've, they've drunk their water. Um, and in the evening, we sort of help backstage to make sure they're on stage at the right time as well, calm their nerves, sometimes mop up tears as well. Some of them are quite young this year. Wakey, wakey! Morning, gentlemen. Oh, look, there's one there. He's, this, this one. <laughs> Definitely needs a close-up. We were originally a pop rock band. <laughs> well, we thought you were rock. But we were actually, we were actually playing pop. pop music <laughs> aimed at nine-year-old girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very much a fan of um, the hurdy-gurdy and French music and medieval English stuff. And that's sort of influenced the way I play. <laughs> I need to stir my beans. <laughs> How are you feeling about tonight? Uh, not too good, really. <laughs> I'm nervous. From 10 o'clock, we're um, going to go in and teach some workshops, um, which is you know, a mixture of skills, musical and professional, as musicians as well, if people are thinking of doing that professionally but also keeping it fairly light to take the pressure off this evening a bit.
A lot of people have come either as soloists or duos, trios or little bands and we just split everyone up today so it was a great opportunity for everyone to get to know each other um, and play music with people that they haven't played with before. Different styles of music uh, plus different styles of music that they wouldn't necessarily play themselves because we just threw strange things at them. So we came up with our own sort of arrangement of what was our earworm at the moment. It was called an earworm, wasn't it? Earworm, yeah. yeah. Um, and we... What's that? It's uh, the tune that you've got stuck in your head can't that's get rid pretty of. annoying. We then had to put all of them into a set and perform them to the rest. It was quite weird. It was amazing how, you know, real kind of hardcore dance tunes turned out into these real cool folky arrangements. Funny, love me better, makes me happy, makes me feel this way. I think what John and uh, Rachel were getting at really was that you can make a decent piece of music out of anything. So in the last few years we've seen a lot more singer-songwriters coming through the event and this year we decided to ask singer-songwriter John Smith along um, to spend a little bit of time just working with songwriters on, on composition, which seems to have gone down very well. It was just a small group of about seven of us and I was the lucky one because one of my songs that I had unfinished, um, I just played it and then we sort of started working on that together. I'm going to be very bold here. You should lose, I'd have in your arms. OK. I think, and I encourage everyone to argue with me if this is wrong. Yeah. I think it should go... Yeah, there's poison. I really could have done with some guidance. There was a few things that I'd, if I had been able to tell a younger self now, then I, I would benefit from them greatly. OK, yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> they're all just really, really good at what they're doing. I wish I'd been that good when I was 21 and under, you know. Oh uh, yeah, I was thinking about changing the, I was thinking the medicine. Like, yeah, we could write something. I usually write songs cool. um, completely by myself, so it's completely new to me. Um, and also it's given me a few ideas of the production of how I could record it as well, um, with some different instruments, because um, obviously I don't usually have a double bassist to hand. I think the term folk, it means a lot of different things to a lot of people. No one in there was hardline English folk, you know, in the more traditional sense. So I, th I think, I think the, the, the boundaries of folk have, have, have shifted and expanded so much that it's, it, it, it's, uh, it, I don't know, it's, it, it's, it's a very big word. The venue is also playing host to a comic art convention, so um, you might see Spider-Man walking about, you might bump into Superman, there's all kinds of people milling around. It's created a real buzz about the place. This weekend is quite hectic because there's so much going on. At the same time as the workshops, there's sound checks, there's people's parents have arrived and they want to go out and say hello to them. We did the sound check earlier and I had to hold a really long note and my voice kind of went... <laughs> That's, that's no change there, then, is it, Jared? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. I keep feeling like it's just a gig, and then we get really excited, and then someone mentions the word competition, and it's like, ah. <laughs> But I am really excited, so I think it'll be a nice evening. Uh, welcome to the BBC Radio 2 Young Folk Award concert. And the audience is a panel of judges who will retire after the concert and deliberate long into the night about who the four nominees should be. I don't know if you know how this works, but we ask on the Radio 2 Folk Show for uh, people to send in tapes. The only qualifications are you have to be aged between 16 and 21, you have to live in the UK, and, uh, and the, the judges have picked out the best ten acts. So, listen, we're going to have a wonderful night and uh, a great way to kick off. Please, Ben and Alfie. Side tree. It's 
got no oars, just the current beneath. It will carry us out and leave no wake, and we'll wander like ghosts on the river. And we won't miss home, cause we'll never look back again. Well, my dad was always a folky, um, well, from when I was born. Um, he got me into playing music. I started with English music playing for Morris dancing. Well, we play anything that we like. Uh, really. any, any music that um, we find. I mean, most of, our, uh, most of our material comes from YouTube. We see that as being the new oral tradition. My dad supported me a lot and has driven me like he's driven me up here and all over the country for my my work and tonight hopefully I can give him a well worthy performance. Yeah, we've all kind of heard folk music sort of in our early teens and sort of thought, yeah, I'd like to have a go at that. So. Yes. Yeah. Did you say jazz? Yeah, You're using jazz chords, sort of yeah. Folk, jazz, jazz chords and a bit of classical in there as well, so it's a bit of an unusual set, but yeah. we like it. I sing a lot of Gaelic songs from the Isle of Lewis, where I'm from, and um, from some islands below as well. And the boys are playing a lot of tunes from their areas as well, so we kind of based a lot of our repertoire around the northwest of Scotland. The experience here has been incredible so far. Uh, all the people are lovely. The music is slightly depressing because it's so good. <laughs> um, but yes, so far so good. I have enjoyed myself rather a lot this weekend. And so for that reason, I might sound like either a normal man or a squeaky man. <laughs> this is Blow Away. If I was in the sky, would you let me blow away, just like the scudding cloud? Playing my own music makes me feel different because I'm, I feel quite shy in my head, but that's something where I can show a different part of me and not sort of be so worried about being embarrassed because it's a performance. You should maybe tread carefully, keep your windows clean for the reason that if you can't see, you can easily fall. You know, the, the folk scene's not exactly the most cutthroat industry compared to, you know, the pop industry or something like that. So even though you're competing against them technically, it doesn't feel like you are. You're just listening yeah. to your new friend's music.
I'm quite excited because I didn't realise there was going to be a grand piano here. Tell me something I don't know then If you've heard it all before And wake me up when we get there But you don't sleep at all, no You don't sleep I feel it's a stepping stone. It's it is, of... but it's also experience. We want to go to America. Let's play big maybe, gigs. Maybe win a Brit award. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'll tell> <laughs> Just wanna. But as long as we can keep ourselves afloat for as long as possible and keep playing music, then that's 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 fine. It's great. and it just got worse since then. Now all the tension is just gone. We could just chill out and yeah. play some more music and just have more fun. And we've done what we came here to do and we've done it well. Exactly, so, yeah. Simple, you know. so. I pity the judges. Can you yeah. imagine? They must be thinking, oh my goodness, how do we choose out of that lot? at times excellent, nice cheeky bloke doing something that nobody's tried to do yeah. on the folk scene for a very long time. Very original ideas and uh, good harmonies. Maybe it's a stringy thing, I love the pizzicato and all of that and then bringing in the board bass and for me it was great. It was absolutely fantastic, I, I didn't get a chance to, to hear much of the other acts but um, I heard uh, Misha's trio, absolutely incredible. They were accompanying her voice. Mm. They were working together. Unobtrusive guitarists, you know, just kind of hanging on the end. Shivers and down the spine. That's yeah. not wow. Yeah. Stunning. Clearly, this is a band that's been heavily influenced by Mumford and Sons. I think they're representing a side of folk music that that clearly is out there now mm. and um, that we haven't really seen in the Young Folk Award before and I think it's interesting. They would they would tear the festival season apart. I like the one where they all kind of went a bit wonky and the legs all went wonky with it. <laughs> <laughs> a good band with a, with a good future. Have you seen your dad's Yes, I have. He's uh, very proud. Wouldn't stop hugging me. Um, now, he's gone, now he's gone home to go to bed. And I'm going to get a double cheeseburger because I'm starving. <laughs> Whether it fits into the category or not, it's just an open-ended debate of what is yeah. folk music and yeah. what isn't. So I think, um, tell me if I'm jumping the gun, I think we'll have a definite, a definite top four. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a piece of, like, an envelope around anywhere? Because it's got my money over it. 
It's my first time in a youth hostel. Oh yeah? It's been a very interesting experience. We were hoping it wouldn't be raining. You should start that out for next year. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Your toothbrush is it? Your toothpaste. There you go. We play. A lot of these guys would have just been at home and they'll be the only person in their town who plays a guitar and you come here and you meet other people and it blows your mind completely. Um, so I think the best outcome would just be that they go away knowing that they're part of something, you know. Kendall, eh? Oh, yeah. Rain and man. <laughs>